Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to take your phone from this to this. It's a pretty simple process once you get the hang of it. And I'm going to give you the apps and everything that you need in the description below so you know exactly what you need to do this. So we're going to create your phone into a boring home screen into a fall aesthetic place. <laughs> so let's get into it. All right, to start you off, you're going to need to have an iPhone. I don't know how to do this on other devices, but the iPhone works. So make sure you have the iPhone. I think the highest update you need is like iOS 14. So most of us already have an iOS 14 update. If you don't though, make sure that you do that. And the next thing that you're gonna need to do is have the app called Shortcuts. It should already be on your phone, but make sure that you have the Shortcuts app downloaded so you can make all these little widgets um, or app covers, I should say. Next thing you're gonna need is the app Canva. You do not need a premium subscription of this app to make your phone this fall version. So just make sure you download the app Canva and that you have the other apps, Widget Smith and Color Widget. Those are all the apps, here they are. This is what we're gonna use in this video. And I'm gonna show you and walk you through how to use each and every one of them to make your phone into this fall theme. Okay guys, so the first step is to download Canva. Canva is going to help you to create your app icon covers. And it's a pretty simple process, so stick with me, ready? What you're gonna do is you're gonna open up Canva. You're gonna click on the design option for an Instagram post, but make sure it's a blank one. You don't wanna use a template. So just go to a blank Instagram post sizing. And what you're gonna do is you're going to search in elements, whatever app you're using. So if you're using Instagram, search Instagram and the logo for Instagram will pop up, a camera for camera, photos for photos, whatever apps you need to do. Keep in mind that you might have an app that they don't have the logo for, so you're gonna have to get creative and make something up that can resemble something about that app. Um, another thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna choose the color that you want. So they have like a little color wheel, you can choose the color, you can take a color from a photo. You could even use a photo to be the app cover behind the icon. So whatever you wanna do, this is your chance to do it. Go about it and create your app icon to be the one that you want. And once you do that, you're just gonna download it and save it to your camera roll and repeat the process for all of them. And yeah, that's how you're gonna make your app icons. Okay guys, so what you're gonna do is you're going to open up the app Shortcuts. From there, you're gonna click on the plus sign in the top right corner, and you're gonna click on where it says to add action, I think. And then you're gonna type in open app. From there, you're gonna click on open app, and it will say choose right by it. You'll click on choose. You'll search the app within there that you want to open. <laughs> and I think I chose to put camera and then you'll go to your photos and you'll add a photo. Make sure, I've forgotten this filming. Make sure that you type in that it's your camera in the new shortcut spot. Otherwise it will show up on your home screen with the picture saying new shortcut beneath it. So just make sure that you type in the app that it is um, and that you chose a photo. For this next part, I always recommend that you go to Pinterest and you see all the fall photos that you might want or fall quotes or whatever that you want to add to your home screen in a widget. So what you're going to do, and I use Widget Smith for this part because it's a lot easier to just add it to your screen of just a photo, but you can also use Color Widget to do this. So I'm going to show you how to do it using Widget Smith. So with Widget Smith, you're going to open it up and you're gonna click add a new widget. You can do small, medium, or a large size. Um, I used a small one for adding a fall photo. As you can see, what you can do is you can click photos or from photos from a photo album. So let's say there's a lot of fall photos that you found on Pinterest and you wanna use them all. If you click use photos from a photo album, it will use them on a rotation. So you'll see different pictures all the time on your home screen. So that's what you can do here. Next up is Color Widget. Color Widget has a lot of fun widgets that you can use. You can scroll through their homepage, figure out if there's a theme or a design that you like, or you can 
edit it and make it your own. So I went ahead, found ones that I liked and turned them into the color scheme that I wanted to use for my fall theme. So in this process, I'm gonna show you how to do that. You can use, you can look through their color palettes and choose which color, you can change the fonts. You can even um, set, there's multiple different styles. You can have it be large, small or medium, whatever size you want it to be, you can make it that size. And then you just add it to your home screen. And I'm gonna show you guys how to add these widgets into your home screen. You're simply gonna go to your home screen, hold down on your screen, tell everything's like, you know how it starts to shake like that. Then you're gonna click in the top left corner, that plus sign, and you can add your widget from there with a really simple process. So what you're gonna do is click and search for the app, Color Widget or Widget Smith, whichever one. There's even ones that other apps give you on your phone that you have, such as photos, weather, whatever. So if you wanna add those things, you can too. All in all, it's a pretty simple process and it doesn't take a lot to figure out how all of these things work. It's pretty simple to figure out how these apps work, find the photos that you want, and it's a really fun, creative process to do. I know we spend so much time on our phones and I think it's fun to use our phones in a creative and fun way. So that's why I love changing my phone for the different seasons and holidays and whatever. If you don't wanna do a fall theme, you can make your phone look like the aesthetic that you want it to look like. And it's a really simple process. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video that you learned. If you have any questions about these apps or how to do this process that I didn't touch on, comment down below and I will answer and do my best to walk you through how to do it and how to make your phone what you want it to look like so please subscribe give it a like comment if you have questions and subscribe to my blog which is linked in the description i love you guys and i will see you next time bye